Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound and that everyone is ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Generally between three and four. This is a family friendly channel after all. And please do me a favor. If you like my videos, or you like my channel, or you just like me, please consider subscribing to my channel. I currently have 1,941 subscribers, and I'm looking to reach about 2,000 by the end of this year. So please do me that favor. And if you feel like you want to support my channel, uh, you can do so at any time by clicking on the thanks button on any of my videos. I would greatly appreciate that. Okay, so... Uh, Today is what I call Health and Wellness Wednesday, so National Self-Awareness Day, which ties right into what I like to do. National Self-Awareness Day takes place on September 28th in the United States. It is an opportunity to spread information about the philosophy of self-awareness, the conscious experience of one's personality or individuality. Being self-aware means recognizing your consciousness or a person's awareness of their environment, body, and lifestyle. Self-awareness also allows a person to intentionally know and understand their character, emotions, motives, and desire. So basically, you learn to know yourself better. Some people don't know themselves that well, really. History of National Self-Awareness Day. In their 1972 book, A Theory of Objective and Self-Awareness, Shelley Duvall, I wonder if that's the one that uh, played uh, olive oil, and Robert Wickland expound on the self-awareness theory. They state that individuals who direct their attention to themselves learn how to evaluate their behaviors based on internal principles and values. This means they begin to judge or rate themselves based on their standards and beliefs creating a state of objective self-awareness. Notice that they are rating themselves, not someone else rating them, because sometimes it's different. As people become self-evaluators, self-awareness allows them to intensify various emotional states. Consequently, they align their behavior with their standards because of the negative effect of not living up to those metrics. So everyone has their own standards. I know I have my own standards, and I try to live up to them, but uh, I don't really get too stressed out when I don't, because as long as I try, that's you know, the best part. Moreover, certain environmental cues and situations such as mirrors, audiences, or camera recordings induce self-awareness. These cues help improve the accuracy of personal memory. Another study demonstrates how self-awareness develops systematically after birth and is considered a significant factor in the development of general inferential processes. In addition, the philosophy of self-awareness states that a person's belief in their ability to succeed affects how they think, act, and feel. Like me, you know, I know what I can do and what I cannot do. So I don't let people tell me what I can and cannot do because only I can judge what I can and cannot do. A person with strong self-efficacy usually sees challenges as tasks that need to be accomplished and is not easily dispirited. Like me, I'm not dispirited. In contrast, those with self-awareness comprehend their imperfections and abilities and use them to their advantage. This is the closest thing that human beings have to a superpower. Wow, I have a superpower. National Self-Awareness Day Timeline, 1879. The first psychology laboratory. Wilhelm Wundt founds the first experimental laboratory for psychology at the University of Leipzig, Germany. 1896, the first psychology clinic. Leitner Wittmer establishes the world's first psychology clinic. 1913, beginnings of behaviorism. John B. Watson launches the field of behaviorism after publishing Psychology as a Behaviorist Views It. 1946, the National Mental Health Act. U.S. President Harry Truman signs the National Mental Health Act, 
which provides generous psychiatric education and research funding. Okay, so how should you celebrate this day? Well, take a good look at yourself. And I don't mean just the mirror. Just take a good look at yourself and, you know, become self-aware that, yes, I may have my imperfections, but nobody is perfect, you know? You, only you can decide what you can and cannot do. Don't let people tell you you can't do something because they don't know what you can and cannot do. Only you do. But, again, don't set your standards so high that you can't achieve it. You know, make your standards, uh, you know, within reason that you can do. You know, like me asking to, you know, people to subscribe to my channel and, you know, my goal is to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. I have 1941 now, so it's within reason. Okay. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. Like I said, this is a family-friendly channel, so I try to put it out between three and four. And if you like my videos, or you like my channel, or you just like me, think I'm a nice guy or whatever, consider subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I'm up to 1941, so I'm looking to get to 2000. So, you know, it's within reach. Okay. And if you feel that you want to support my channel, you could do so at any time by clicking on the thanks button on any of my videos. Your donations would be greatly appreciated, even if as little as a dollar. You know, right now I'm not, I haven't gone back to school because of the lack of students. So, you know, I would appreciate any help you could give me or any support. I thank you. Stay safe and I will see you soon.